So the title of today's video is focus on application development not on LLM hosting because we have so many tools to host your LLMs and that is just the first part of any application that you're trying to develop to have a good LLM is the first step you don't have to think about anymore for deploying LLMs because we have three options to deploy the LLMs you can go for APIs or you can go for GPU instance or you can go for the all-around uh, serverless so in this video I'm going to show you each and every part of this process so that you don't have to think about LLMs hosting anymore so let's get started this video is sponsored by Novita.ai and I'm going to show you a few things so I have a link at the description of this video go there and click on the link and sign up for this service so this is a GPU a cloud GPU but we have so much benefits compared to other cloud GPUs I'm going to show you in a second but once I have it in my logins we can deploy it so first and foremost let's look at the keys here so once we are registered we have access to the API keys here and using that API key you can load the finest models available on the internet so for example if you go to the docs here and go to the api reference and llm api you can see a list of all the models that are available here so you see these models these are the featured models for example llama 3.1 8 billion instruct llama 3.17 billion instruct there's so many models that you can use here you can use any of the models here you can uh, you have uncensored model as well now how you are going to use this is the base url is this okay so you note that the base url is this for example in olama the base url is localhost it's 11434 for the LM Studio, you have something like 1234, localhost 1234. But for this, we have this as the base URL. So it supports the OpenAI style of the client. For example, if I go to my Visual Studio Code Editor and uh, hook up a code in the format of OpenAI. So I install from OpenAI, I import OpenAI. And just in the base URL part, you just need to place the novita.ai v3 open ai and you're gonna put the api keys that you have already obtained for example from here you go to keys here and uh, you can generate a new key add a new key or you can take the older key and just paste it here and you put in the model here so i'm using llama 3.18 billion instruct and then you can use it like a normal chat application so i've created a new environment as well so open uh, aci is a new environment conda environment i've installed the pip install um, open ai there as well now this is already installed what you can do is i can just start my applications here and start the good works that i need to do for example start any you know any big project because we are not thinking about how we are going to deploy the llms because this is hosted and on their servers and you're going to access it using the api keys just like any other api keys just like a, an open ai api key or a grok api key or a cloud api key you can use this so this is first option of how you can use that and you can see the solution what is the capital of india and uh, the capital of india is new delhi would you like to know more details of new delhi or india in general so this is a question and we get the answer here next this was the first part a gpu instance you can use a gpu instance as well so for example you can go to console here and once you go to console you can see three things that you can do so explore api models that you've already done next we deploy a gpu instance so just click here and then we are going to deploy a gpu instance for example let's take pytorch 2.2.1 this is the template and you can select different gpus available so for example we have 4090 24 gb uh, gpu we have 3090 24 gb we have a 180 gb we have rtx 6000 which is 48 gb and the prices for different uh, gpus are mentioned here so let me show you a very uh, cool example so i just click on deploy here and you can see that i have this format of uh, pytorch 2.2.1 and uh, 
I just need to press next. I start the start Jupyter notebook as well. I click it here and I just need to click on next. And you can see the cost is uh, 0.35 dollars per hour. And uh, you can just click on deploy. So your instance is being built as we speak. It should be ready in a few minutes. Cool, this is running. And now you can go to connect here and then you can go to the Jupyter lab here. So this will open a Jupyter notebook with access to the GPU that you have just selected. Now, how do we know that we have the GPU? We go to this Python 3 environment and you can uh, type something like NVIDIA uh, SMI, I guess you can type NVIDIA SMI and this will give you the details of the uh, GPU. For example, we have 24 GB empty here and nothing has been used. So this 24 GB GPU is for your taking and for your use case now. Now you can go ahead and develop the applications, not thinking about how you're going to host the LLMs. Well, the zeroed option or the first option is to run it locally. The second option is to do what we did as using the API. The third option is to use a GPU instance just like we have it here. And the most interesting option, this is pretty cool, is the serverless option. Now, how is it different from this instance that we are running here? It's different in that when we use a GPU instance, it is going to cost us money, like $0.35 per hour. Whether you are using it or not, this is built on demand. So whenever you ask it, it will, whenever it keeps on, when you ask it to start, start up, it will just start up and the cost will be incurred but the serverless is a little different so in serverless what you can do okay let me just terminate this and delete this instance because i don't want to be riding around with the cost here so now what i can do is i can go to novita.ai again and you can see that in the console part we have three options now so we have seen at the API, we have seen the deployed GPU instance. And one more thing I would like to show you in the uh, deployed GPU instance as well, because this is very cool. We can uh, see different formats as well. For example, we have this template, Olama Open Web UI. So you can select this template and maybe you can select uh, this GPU. And now you can see that we have this image, which is the open web UI image of Olama and you can for example I'll just show you if I just deploy it okay now here you will be able to see open web UI's interface so for example I go to here I click on connect and I click on the connect to HTTP service then you will see this cool interface of open uh, web UI now I have already registered so you can do go and register this but then I click on okay and then I click on sign up okay so I click a new I created a new account and now you can see that we have this interface we don't have any models as of now okay what you can do is you can go to the settings there and you can go to the admin settings and then you will have the option of downloading the models so there's models you can pull a model for example let's say I do Olama uh, pull Olama uh, 3.2 so how do i get that i need to go to olama.ai and i need to go to the models here once you go to the models you can click on this recent llama 3.2 and then you can run this command which is olama run llama 3.2 so if you go back to here and then you can run this and you can just download the olama run llama 3.2 so you can download the llama 3.2 and use it so this is going to use uh, the hosted gpu that we have seen so let us wait for this to download it's not a big file but it will be done very soon okay it is being done it's 100 percent now now what you can do is you can select a model here once it is ready you can select a model of course you can go back to the news chat here and then see if that model is available so you can see it is being downloaded and you can see it's a success
so download is a success remove the unsuitable layers just refresh it and you can see this llama 3.2 latest so after using uh, this llama 3.2 here we can ask this question uh, what is a docker image and how can i create one let's see you can see the inference it's pretty good so this is how we can use olama as well but it works on the hosted gpu that we have here there are different other templates as well that you can go through but i am going to disconnect from this now so this is option number two of using gpu instance there's another instance of using serverless so what i was saying is that when we use a gpu it incurs cost at any point of time but when you use serverless it only incurs cost whenever your service is running so you hosted an app and you're using this llm let's say in this case you're using this 4090 llm and you are great for and it's great for running llama 3 8 billion and mistral 7b models you have hosted your service on this llm and at some point of time let's say you have no uh, users using your service then what this system the serverless will do is that it will bring down the number of active services and it will help you reduce your cost let's say the other thing that may happen so let's say you the number of users in your application increases so this will automatically scale your app as per the convenience as per the requirements so what you can do is that you can go and create endpoint here so you can create an app name for example uh, just an example here so minimum number of workers it's the minimum number of workers to keep helps reducing the cold start this is the maximum number of workers this is the idle timeout so it's the time for idle worker threads to keep running for new request you'll be charged for idle timeout and you can use any CUDA version you need to give it a container image for now let's give this image docker container image and for the command you can put this command for the port we can give 8000 port here and what else so we need to add the environment variables because we are using llama 3.18 billion instruct here so we need to add uh, variables um, hugging face tokens so i say hugging face hub token so we need to add hugging face token as well if you go to hugging face there you'll see uh, your token so you can go to settings here and then you can go to your access tokens and you can get, just give this token here because if you don't give it's difficult it's not possible for uh, your system to download um, to download the model to, to download llama 3.1 so you need to give this as well now once you have all the details here uh, what you can do is you can just click on deploy okay sometimes it happens that uh, llama 3.1 you are not able to access llama 3.1 then you need to request uh, meta for accessing your model for example if you have no request then what you'll be able to see that here we need uh, to request for the models for example expand in this and then you need to read all the instructions and apply for this model so for llama 3.1 as well you need to go through this uh, step next what you can do is we already have this running it's serving now now i've created a different script which will help you run this so app1.py for example we have this simple script where we have uh, given the url and these are the headers these are the data uh, i'm asking like uh, write me a poem uh, and act like a helpful assistant is a system prompt so write me a poem on ai and let's say uh, I go ahead and take the URL so this is the URL so copy this and paste it here so once you paste in the URL here then you need to write slash v1 slash chat slash com completions then after doing that we should be able to run this so python app one dot pi let's see let's look at the logs as well if it's able to run properly uh, if there is any problems uh, you will be able to see on the logs as well but the beauty of the service is that it will scale automatically it will scale down it will scale up as per the requirement to scale down as per the requirement and it's so uh, easy to get started pretty good you can see the output is quite fast 
Let's ask a simple question and a short question like what is the capital of India? And now let's run this again. You can see the speed of inference. It's pretty great. Now you have three, four solutions to get up and start running your LLMs. The first option is to have a local system which is not obviously scalable. The second option is to go to Novita AI and check out the model API. Using their subscription, you can go through my link and create an account. The third option is to go and deploy a GPU instance. Here you can put your own fine-tuned models and it's pretty amazing. And the fourth option is to build a serverless system where it will scale up and down as per the requirements of your app. Now, it is up to you to use their services and create exciting apps. This video is sponsored by Novita.ai. And if you're interested in fine tuning your models, you can check out this video. If you think that AI cannot control your mouse and keyboard, you can check out this video. If you are enjoying the videos, please give a like and a subscribe and join my Patreon if you want not to miss the exciting stuff. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.